Many Vermonters in towns where roads and bridges washed out. But a bit of good news tonight. New at 6, our Haley Morgan takes us to Cabot, where people got together to lend a helping hand. Jonah Bourne is one of the many community members helping to build a bridge in Cabot as his farm and five other farm families on Menard Road have been stranded for more than a week. I haven't been able to drive to our farm for now since Monday night, so we've had a lot of logistical challenges trying to get people in and out, and I'm so impressed and pleased with how quickly everybody got this bridge going together. The storm destroyed culverts, creating a 17 feet hole on the road. In an effort to help the families get off the hill, the state gave a bridge to the town of Cabot as a temporary fix. Community members and construction crews rallied to get it installed, and the town's road foreman says he's never seen damage quite like this. And there's a steep bank on both sides. Well, I feel terrible because, you know, people are trapped. I mean, they can get out, but it's not ideal. All their vehicles are over at their house, so uh, I can't imagine trying to get to work. The crew has been working for the last couple of days to assemble the bridge and make it safe enough for vehicles. Select board members say the path to recovery will be a long one, but people in Cabot have been working hard to repair their little town. That's a real, I think, a great story for Cabot. Uh, people working together and we have a volunteer system in town people are helping each other it's a great atmosphere in the midst of a terrible flood and Bourne says despite the hardships there is still light at the end of the bridge you get to like work together and make connections and I feel really privileged to be a part of it someone said to me yesterday if, if you're gonna have a disaster have a disaster in Vermont Cabot says that the bridge should be open by Wednesday morning, and they don't know how long this temporary fix will be here for, but at least the families on the hill won't be stranded anymore. In Cabot, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.